Hello everybody and welcome to day 16 of my beginner sewing course. I hope you are well. Uh, if you can tell, I'm feeling very refreshed because I gave myself a two-day break. You know, I've been working like non-stop on the series, um, but I actually spent it at the emergency room. Um, like two days ago, I woke up and my right ear was bleeding, so that was super scary. Um, I called some people, they were like, go to the emergency room. So that's what I did. Uh, I waited a couple of hours there, as you can probably, uh, as you probably know. You've probably been there before and yeah uh, they gave me some drops uh, antibiotic drops and I've been using that and like my ear was blocked I couldn't hear anything and I was like oh I'm done <laughs> I lost my hearing but no I actually it, it was just blocked so the drops that they gave me have been helping uh, helping me get my hearing back so my ear isn't blocked anymore but I still have to keep using them um, yeah so now I decided to take like a bit of a break just to let my body heal and it has healed so that two-day break really helped me so I'm ready to get back into it and yeah also I'm really saying this just in case like somebody watches this and are a little rough on their ears like I was a little rough on my ears because ever since I was a kid I've had like trouble with my ears like they always had to be checked so as an adult I've been a little rough on them so be careful be gentle with your ears you only have two Anyway, let's get into the video. Today we're going to be learning how to sew a dart. Uh, you'll see it's very easy. All you're going to need is some fabric, uh, like a pan, like water soluble pen or a chalk, and a ruler, and that's it. So let's get into it. Okay, so what I want you to do is grab a piece of fabric like this uh, and cut it on the salvage. So this is my salvage. And we're just going to draw out the dart and it's not going to be like super precise. Like we're not learning pattern making here. Uh, we just want to learn how to sew them because you're going to be uh, seeing them a lot on patterns that you purchase. So let's, let's start. You're going to need a ruler, uh, some scissors, bigger ruler <laughs> and some chalk like this. So I'm going to make it simple. My, uh, dart is going to be the width of my little ruler here so i'm just going to mark those edges okay perfect so now we need to make the bottom of the dart and i have a finished one here and as you can see, the bottom isn't straight. That's because when you're going to fold the fabric, like that to make the dart, you want the rest of the fabric that's hanging to be um, not taking more space. Because if you cut it like that, then that fabric would just be all the way here and there'd be like a weird tail hanging around. So you don't want that. So that's why you make the tail like this in like a triangle shape. It's all to avoid excess fabric on your garment and make it cleaner. So I think I want the bottom of my dart to be, uh, let's just say one inch high. Um, like I said before, this isn't like a real measurement. We're just doing it because uh, it's easy. So I'm just going to mark that right here. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now I'm going to mark the middle so I know where to start. And that's at three. Actually, I'm just going to mark it here. Perfect. And now you're gonna bring all those points together. And that's the bottom of your dart. Just to make it clear, this is where it ends. Okay. 
Perfect. And we're actually gonna cut this triangle. better and now I'm gonna grab a bigger ruler because I want to make my dart pretty long so we're gonna find the middle and I want it to be like pretty long so seven inches so I'm just gonna mark it at the top right here perfect And now I'm gonna make the dart legs. Perfect. Now you can see your dart pretty well. So here's the dart tip and right under that dart tip, you wanna put a punch hole and it's going to be half an inch under the dart tip. So right here. That is the punch hole that you're gonna find on a pattern. So what the punch hole tells you is that um, the dart is about to end. So when we take it over to the sewing machine, um, I'll show you a more advanced technique on how to sew the dart. And we're gonna need to use that little dart point here. Uh, not dart point, but punch hole. So just to recap, here we have the two dart legs. Uh, here at the top, we have the bust point and half an inch underneath, we have the punch hole. Um, now what I'm gonna do is clip some notches at the dart legs here, just like small little notches. And that's just gonna help me align them when I fold them. So let's, let's just fold it. As you can see, it makes it really easy to know exactly where to align. That's pretty good. And here we have the top. So now you're going to take some pins. Also, this is really old. Like, I don't smoke cigars. It really is just for pins. So just make sure this is really flat and I'm just going to put a pin here to indicate uh, the punch hole. So this is where we have, where we have the punch hole and now I'm just going to use some regular pins to keep the fabric from moving. So when we actually sew it, I'm just going to show you here and it's going to be easier. You're going to um, uh, use a straight stitch here and then back tack, obviously, because it's the beginning. Then you're just going to sew along that straight line right here. And once you get to that pin where, um, where the uh, punch hole is, that's where you're going to actually do a little curve. So move your fabric like this. And instead of sewing a straight line like this, you're actually gonna sew as straight as, po uh, not as straight, but like as close as possible to that fold line until you reach the bust point. And then you're not gonna back stitch or cut off your thread. You're actually gonna leave a long uh, tail of thread and then knot it so that you don't actually have a little like hole when you turn it right side out. Cause sometimes when you sew a dart uh, the other way, so like just sewing it like that straight ahead and then back stitching when you turn it around there's going to be like a little circle and that doesn't look very good so yeah let's let's start sewing this okay so when you're sewing make sure that your needle is uh directly on that chalk line that you drew and once again you can always drop down your needle to make sure uh it is exactly where it's supposed to be okay yeah it looks pretty good to me so i'm just gonna start sewing so here you just start sewing like normal and then backstitch 
like normal. I put my pins far away enough that I don't have to take them out while I'm sewing. So you can do that if you would like. But right now I keep just uh, using a straight, straight stitch. And as you can see now I'm at my pin, so at my punch hole. So I'm just gonna take it out because that because that one is a little bit in the way. And now you'll see I'm gonna move my fabric so that my needle arrives directly on that fold line. Just like that. And now instead of trimming my thread, I'm going to make my needle go up and leave a long, long uh, thread tail. And as you can see, we have a straight line all the way here until here there's a little bit of a curve. Not for long, just at the just at the end. And now the way that we're going to finish this seam is by just tying a knot with those two threads. Make up again. I'm not bruised. Do not worry. I like to do three knots. And now you can trim your threads. And you can also trim them at the beginning. And this is what the back looks like. So now you're gonna take your iron and just iron your dart. Press it really well so that it lays flat. Be careful not to press uh, the tip yet, though we're gonna do that uh, once we turn the fabric right side out. So the grand reveal. This is our dart. As you can see, there's no weird hole, <laughs> but we're just gonna press it flat from this side. And um, since we did like a little triangle shape, that's why when I lay the fabric like this, it's all straight. If I hadn't done that, then it would be like the tail, the tail would be like that. And we could just see it from that side and it would look really bad. So that's why we like to do that. And now we're just gonna press the seam. And yeah, what I wanted to say is, you'll have to check on your pattern which way uh, the tail is supposed to face. But for now, we don't have a way, so I'll just put it like that. So as you can see, sewing a dart is not difficult, but it is very technical. So uh, make sure you adjust every little thing that I told you to adjust if you get a little pucker at the top. But if you follow everything, you should be fine. And yeah, make sure to press them really well. And yeah, that's just your homework. Uh, practice making darts and then sewing them. And yeah, that's it for today. So I will see you tomorrow.